Nick Saletti at Brunson Lee Elementary this morning, highlighting some unsung heroes, Nick. Kaylee and Amelia, I think that's the perfect way to put it. They are the unsung heroes. The cafeteria staff here at Brunson Lee Elementary throughout the Bald School District, throughout school districts uh, across Arizona and across America. So here at the Bald School District, as I mentioned earlier, they provide free breakfast and lunch for students. That's provided through federal funding here. So, I mean, let me tell you, this cafeteria staff working around the clock to make sure you got some full bellies here and ready to take the day on for a full day of learning. So I wanted to celebrate some of these cafeteria worker heroes like Miss Coco here, who, as I said, she and her staff work around the clock. And she says that she makes sure in every single dish she prepares, there is one key ingredient, and that is love. We care about our kids. We love them. We love to see them eat. You know, um, a lot of kids, they like the food. Um, it's healthy. It's nutritious. And of course, I'm the cook, so it's always good. <laughs> I love it. I've been here going on 16 years, so I wouldn't want to do anything else. I love the kids. They love me. And I've watched a lot of them grow. So that really means a lot to me, you know. And a lot of them, like I said, I get unconditional hugs and they look forward to my food all the time, you know. I don't know. I just I just love the kids. I just do. It's, it's, I wouldn't want to do anything else. I wouldn't. Oh, you can hear it in Miss Coco's voice. She is the salt of the earth. What a lovely person she is. Truly a labor of love for her. And she told me very proudly she learned to cook from her mom and her grandma. Her specialty, she told me, ribs. Okay, sign me up. Cornbread. All right, I want that too. And any other southern dish you could imagine. So... When you got that cornbread ready, you tell me, Miss Coco, I'm coming back. She works alongside a staff of about a half dozen other ladies who I got to meet on Friday to make the meals happen here at Brenton Lee. So, of course, we need to give them a shout out and celebrate these cafeteria worker heroes. And real quick, I want to show you this. I don't know, maybe I overstayed my welcome here Friday because those ladies, they put me to work. My goodness, as part of the pep rally on Friday, they had these bikes that were attached to blenders and it was like a spin class on steroids, let me tell you. It was all about pedaling and spinning and mixing these smoothies at the same time. It was just part of the fun there at the pep rally on Friday for teachers and staff. And uh, I don't know, I, I think they might have raked my bike and, and made me pedal harder there because they, uh, it was a whoop in there. <laughs> they were pedaling a lot faster than I was. But I just saw a wonderful morning here at Baltz as we get ready to kick off a new school year uh, here in the Baltz School District and also at more than a, a dozen districts here across the state. More coverage for you coming up at 6. But let me tell you, my, my legs are tired. Yeah. Ooh, that was a lot of work. Sore after that? Oh. Woo, you're making us sore over here. That's fantastic. <laughs> Talk about great motivation. Did you get to have a smoothie afterwards? I hope at least a little bit of a taste. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. They, they hooked it up. They hooked it up. Fruit <laughs> to my labor. This is awesome. <laughs> Nick, thank you.